In the most recent Minecraft Java snapshot, we got a big parody feature, which is called Simulation Distance. Simulation Distance basically stops a few things from activating inside the game, such as fluids, mobs, items, but as of right now, it only affects mobs and items. This does not affect any form of block, and this does not affect water or lava at all either. Now, render distance is how far you can see inside the game, but for Simulation Distance, it is a completely different story. So you see those mobs over there? They are aptly moving around. But the moment I move out two chunks, then they are not moving. So they cannot do anything at all until we come back into that area. Now we also got ourselves TNT. Now remember earlier I always said it does not affect blocks. Well TNT, it kind of has an exception. While it is a block whenever it's placed down, whenever you activate it, it becomes an entity. So it is affected in that category. So let's say I grab myself a flint steel. We have ourselves a flint steel right here. I'm gonna go light this up and I gotta be quick and I gotta leave this two chunk distance. The TNT is not visible anymore. If I zoom in, the TNT still is not there. But it has not exploded yet. But if I were to zoom in, then look at this, it does explode. So while we're outside of that distance, the TNT will not explode. Now there's also a few other things you have to keep in mind. For one, water elevators, they still work as of right now. Water transports, they still work as well. But however, as I explained earlier, Mojang is planning on changing this. So that means the fluids will be changing for the simulation distance in the near future. Then there's also furnaces. If you're on bedrock condition, when you're outside of that simulation distance, they will not work until you enter that area again. So on the Java edition, it should end up matching bedrock edition quite soon. And also keep in mind that redstone still works as of right now as well. Now right over here, we have sold a chest. Inside the chest, we have all the different items that are affected by the simulation distance. So we got snowballs, we got fire charges, splash potions, bows, crossbows, ender pearls, and tridents. Now inside this dispenser, we have a bunch of splash potions. And that's the first thing I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna click on this button and watch this. It activates the dispenser, and you might think the splash potion might land. Now it looks like it landed, but however if I go a little bit closer, then you can see the splash potion has not landed, and now it just landed right there. We're also going to do the same thing for a fire charge. The fire charge will go up, but however it's not going to end up staying in one position. Instead it will it just look like it keeps firing, but I assure you it's not firing over and over again. The moment I come back over here, then it should end up loading, and then the fire charge will just disappear. So I'm going to grab this into pearl, I'm going to go out and throw it, and it should leave the two chunk distance. It just ended up landing over there and it's just bouncing up and down. And the moment I enter here, then it teleports us where it needs to go. The same thing applies for snowballs. I'm gonna throw the snowball and it's just gonna bounce up and down in that location. We have some arrows, so I'm gonna throw an arrow and I'm gonna fire a trident as well. So as you can see, all those entities, they are just bouncing up and down until we enter that area and then they will go ahead and just blow it up. And this also will affect fireworks. So if I click on this button, then the fireworks should dispense. But if I were to go forward, then look at that. It will just explode. And there's also one more thing that you can do. So we have a bunch of cows right there. If I come back over here, I'm gonna execute a command. So we have slash kill at E type equals cow. The moment I press enter, then all those cows will end up dying and their bodies just stay there. It's actually a really cool, interesting effect, but is it gonna be useful for anything? Like, I don't know, maybe you'll think of something. That is how you can use simulation distance in your own micro world. But I do wanna hear your thoughts down below in the comments of what you think of this. Do you think that's a good addition to the game? And do you think it's gonna be quite useful? When it comes down to the player side, this is going to be a very useful feature for anybody that wants to use less CPU power. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on notifications, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.